Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Barely Necessities, LaughingPlace.com's Disney merchandise show. I'm Rebecca Mosley, co-founder of Laughing Place, and with me, as always, is our site manager, Rebecca Burbank. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. <laughs> How's it been going this week? It's been good. Again, I'm in a new new place, same place, just different spot, and we're finally settling in, so that's very good. So I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome we are having crazy high winds here are you so if you hear like odd noises it, it might be the house like window like periodically there'll be like a the whistling through the windows and stuff like that it's been it's been a rather amazing show of uh mother nature today we'll just uh, call it magic we'll be right? like, oh there's magic happening in our house <laughs> Well, we've got a lot to share this week um, here on Barely Necessities. We're going to start with this uh, adorable cardigan and sweater. Oh, wait. Nope. That's the same word. Dress and cardigan. There we go. I, I was like just ready to go. <laughs> yes, this this uh, arrived on Shop Disney today. It's the Perdita dress. And I think it's perfect timing. It's National Puppy Day. She may not be a puppy, but... She's the mom to what, 80, uh, 99 puppies? Eventually, yeah. That's how the story goes. <laughs> 84 adopted and 15 of her own. Uh, but yeah, this is a really pretty, really pretty blue dress. Um, I also like the light blue bodice. There's little paw prints on there. So, so, so cute. And that oh, that's a neat idea to put it with the crinoline underli underlying. I know. I'm like, oh, well, now I need to get one. <laughs> that's really sweet. Um, the, it's, it looks like it's um, an embroidered um, like leash, but then a lot of the elements look to be um, s screened, mm -hmm. screened on the silhouettes of the characters who match their pooches that we see in a sequence in uh, 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, I yeah. thought that was so cute that they incorporated that, but it doesn't overshadow Perdita at all. So it's just, it's just kind of fun. And then the beautiful embroidery on the sweater itself with the uh, dog Dalmatian print dog bone with the uh, blue uh, collar. So uh, nice, nice little touches to this. And it's um, a surprising, like to me, the price point of the 168 for dress and sweater. I was actually surprised that it wasn't a higher uh, price just based on the usual numbers we see for the uh, dress shop items. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I think it's very sensible or reasonable, uh, reasonable pricing. Yeah. Um, also coming to Shop Disney was a collection of uh, merchandise in celebration of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which I think it's celebrating its first anniversary pretty much. We just okay. about just about a year ago um, is uh, when this attraction opened. I have only experienced it one time. I'm hoping eventually to have another chance to ride it. <laughs> I know. Uh, some of these items are exclusive to Box Lunch, and then others, like you said, will be coming to Shop Disney as well. And some of the pins are already at Box Lunch. Uh, the others will be uh, on Shop Disney on April 5th. So, And then, oh, that one that you just had with Pluto and those sausages there, uh, that's a, a D23 exclusive, and it's complimentary but um, at box lunch but you need to fill out like a like a little voucher online and then go pick it up in store so if you're oh. a d23 member that pin is complimentary oh very neat i i did not i had not read that so i'm excited because i am a d23 member and i find that pluto very adoring right. adorable they've also got a lot of um like um what i would call conductor motif <laughs> you've got a few uh button-up shirts um, there's a cap in that style. And then uh, I thought the infant bodysuit with the uh, railway um, design on it was quite cute, as is the uh, toddler T-shirt with the train and the, the crew on it. And mm -hmm. uh, the poster is featured in a tote bag design. So lots of different ways to uh, showcase the uh, Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway. Oh, that's a picture from our website for um, the phone cases mm -hmm. that uh, were also out. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, 
I'm going to hit the stop share button so that I can switch over to the browser and we can talk about the Hasbro stuff mm -hmm. uh, that people might want to pick up for Easter. Yes. Hasbro sent us an email with several of these items and they asked if we'd put something together. So this is their Easter gift guide. And I think what's great about this is they're very budget friendly, uh, cute little items to put in like an Easter basket. And they suggested in place of candy. So that's so true. Some people might not want to be focusing so much on the candy aspect and you can get some really cute toys. Everything here ranges from either $3.99 per item up to $19.99. So it's not, it's not really expensive and you can easily stock up on a few items, but mostly Star Wars and Disney princesses. I like how these mission fleet items are a bit more chunky for smaller <laughs> hands. So if you have a little one who's interested, not tiny, obviously, because you're still dealing with smaller pieces like the pistol with the stormtrooper over there. Right. But um, but they are a little bit more bulky than the um, ha the ones that I remember from when I was was younger. Um, I was going to ask you, Becca, were you a um, like authentic purchaser or okay this is what i'm saying see see these lightsabers i think they're quite adorable with the mm -hmm. character design and everything but i was one of those where i wanted like movie authentic like well it doesn't look like the same one that leia used you know that or sorry not leia ray used or the same one that yoda used in the prequels you know that kind of thing would you were you that uh, where you would look and see how similar it was to a film or did you just enjoy the toy if it was something i was buying for myself then I would definitely have held out for the, the movie replica. But if this was something that someone gave to me, I'd be like, yeah, this is cool. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I mean, on the whole, I'd prefer the, you know, the replica item, but I, I would have fun with, with those as well. And then they also, in this uh, collection uh, from Hasbro, they uh, are showcasing these little uh, princess secret styles and the, the clothes can come off and on so that you can, um, you know, get them ready for the ball. And then the other item they had in this collection um, is their dresses are enormous so that they yeah. open up to have like a mirror. Yeah. It's like, it kind of reminded me of Polly. Po I think her name was mm -hmm. Polly Pocket. Yep. Her dress was so large, it covered her entire house. Oh, and I don't think I've seen that one, but I... I remember the little like the little things that you would hold and open and they would have have stuff inside but oh the that one was that, totally reasonable the one that i had it was like a strawberry shortcake sized doll uh -huh. and she would fit in the top okay and then her dress would expand her dress was like the cover of this um house that was like carousel of progress you could rotate it from room to room uh -huh. and so she had like the living room and then the bedroom and then whatever, and it was all hidden underneath her her, her her skirt yeah so yeah i remember that your your husband comes in with the uh, very humorous you can add them to your basket or pass over them thank you for that kyle thank you very much yeah <laughs> continuing with some of the uh items from hasbro they sent a box of uh raya and the last dragon toys to our team and Alex did an unboxing of them here, but I just thought I'd share a couple of the items as well because um, they have this um, these fashion dolls. So you've got adult Raya, but then you have younger, and so you can see like the the size difference there. Yeah. And and with the young one, she has this musical element. And it's the illuminating flower and little and plays different. It'll play uh, a couple of different uh, themes from the from the film. Now, the clothes are not the some of the clothes are removable, but for the most part, um, like um, this one, it's pretty much the like the cape. OK, that comes off. But the the bodice itself is um, part of her. OK. So it's a little different as far as that goes. And then Raya has combable hair. That's but my the, favorite feature of every doll was the combable hair. <laughs> but the human form of Sisu, I haven't seen the movie yet. So um, 
her hair is like fur, so it's reminiscent of the mane that they offer here. My um, other toy is right here. Hang on, I'm off camera, sorry. Um, I see, so like the hair is similar, but it, it's more like fur than like hair. So I don't know that I'd be co combing through it very much. Um, and this dragon is like ni nice and big. Look at that. Yeah, my goodness. It doesn't, it doesn't light up. There is one out there that lights up. This one doesn't light up, but it is, but it is posable the way you can move the face. Aww. Yeah. And then um, our uh, unboxer, Alex, demonstrated that there's actually a ribbon inside of here. So if this tail were, this tail, yeah, I have to attach it when you purchase it. Okay. Um, but um, if it were to come off, maybe they're playing a little rough with it outside or something, that it won't just fall right off because it has a, a ribbon. So that way they'd be able to, you know, they'd still, they could bring the toy back to you without, uh, and you could reattach the tail without having to be concerned that, you know, like running around the backyard, the tail falls off. So yeah, That's not a concern. very clever. I love yeah. that idea. I thought that was a nice, and to give you some idea of the size, I thought I would compare, see, there's was, my Naimo. New I emo, was just going to say, she should, Minnie Mouse should have an adventure and you should take I photos. <laughs> and you're so, ready. Her new friend. Um, <laughs> and then there's also a collection of um, smaller items and they, co they come packaged in like a blind box, like, or... Um, you can get a set. I think it's Target that has the set of them. All this information will be linked below in an article that we did on these toys from Hasbro, the Raya and the Last Dragon set. Some some of the i some of the items um, in the set. There's a set. Sorry, there's a set. But then some of the characters can only be purchased through these like mystery kits. Okay. So like additional characters that you may want. So be sure and uh, visit the article if you want to add to your uh, Raya collection. So yeah, lots of fun stuff from Hasbro. So thank you, Hasbro. We, we appreciate it. Yes, we do. Um, let's see. Next, I'm going to share um, some information about cake. I, I made my um, Raya doll sing again. And I was like, what was that noise? I like um, that. <laughs> the um, next up, we're going to visit uh, Cakeworthy and some of the uh, new merchandise that they have uh, are sharing this spring. Yes, they have so much, uh, such a cute selection. This is their Disney spring collection, and they have Alice in Wonderland. They have Beauty and the Beast. There's Marie uh, from... Aristocats, they even have, and we'll get to it, but they even have uh, Goof Troop, at, or I'm sorry, a Goofy Movie, and uh, I'm blanking on everything, DuckTales, right? Now, and then uh, the Muppets. So there's there's a lot to choose from. Very fun, playful styles, if that is what you like to wear. The all-over prints that they've done are really bright and mm -hmm. um different franchises than we're used to seeing, which has been nice to see more from, like you mentioned, Goof Troop, the Muppets, and they have camp shirts for Goof Troop and Muppets, while the uh, DuckTales design is an all-over t-shirt print. Mm -hmm. And these are all from Cakeworthy. They also have a sweatshirt, kind of an acid wash type look with the, the uh, Caterpillar yes. and Alice. And then you also have the all-over print uh, button up dress. So there's a jean jacket for Beauty and the Beast. Yep, there you go. So if if that's your thing, that it's kind of fun. I don't know that I would wear it now, but like eight year old me would have thought that was the best thing ever. Okay, I'll admit it. This is the one that jumped out at me. I really, I really like this jean jacket. I'm like, hmm. I'm, I'm like, I love it. I might need to pick up this um, Ducktales Oliver print. I mean, it is so fun, and it's the what the '90s Ducktales, so it's not yep. not any of the the new stuff or the series that just ended. So you know, lots of nostalgia at play here. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't yet bought into this flannel with the subtlety mm -hmm. yet. Um, although I do love flannel shirts, so and I this is the first one that they've uh, that's really caught my eye. This, do you suppose she's a wildflower? with Alice simply embroidered on the uh, the collar. Mm -hmm. And then um, 
they have the rose poking out of the pocket. That's usually how these cake worthy designs are. It's a, it's a br uh, bright uh, plaid pattern. And then it has the subtle embroidery on the collar and the pocket kind of poking out of the pocket. But then screened on the back is some phrase connected to uh, the featured movie. And Your husband saying, is not. Oh, he wants, oh, there you go. <laughs> but but yeah. it'll, it'll have to be, I don't know what anniversary present, I guess. <laughs> His birthday is over. Oh, um, yeah, all he already the, cashed in on the birthday. <laughs> yeah. All of the cake worthy items that we looked at today range from $29.95 to $79.95. So again, really pretty reasonable with the pricing. And most of these items are still in the pre-order phase, and I guess their expected shipping is end of the month. They're looking at uh, March 31st for shipping on uh, most of these items. Now, I know Becca. Yeah, I tried to get my, my aughts hair here. I'm out of butterfly <laughs> clips. I got rid of those a long time ago. But ColourPop is bringing a new makeup collection uh, this Friday. Launches at 10 a.m. Pacific, and it's a theme to Lizzie McGuire. So, oh. don't have a lot to show you, but that's the collection. Uh, lots of the gel lip glosses and bright colors, and some body glitter. So, <laughs> I love the I love the flowers um, within the com compact. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they're so so cute. My question with this is who who are they marketing to? Because I feel like millennials were probably a little bit too old to be re -wear or wearing these these colors but you know and everybody who's who's growing up now probably doesn't really know Lizzie McGuire right or right just assuming too much <laughs> no I wonder I'm wondering if uh, some of these maybe some of these are on the edge of coming back again you know you never you never know color palettes seem to kind of cycle in and, in and out as to uh, how common we see them. So maybe we are on the edge of seeing uh, this brighter palette of colors again. Yeah. And um, you can see there's little Lizzie, the animated Lizzie is part of the uh, design on this as well. So it's kind of fun. Yeah. Oh, no, it's sweet. And like Kyle says, perhaps, oh, perhaps they will uh, announce a sequel to this collection and then cancel it. <laughs> reminding us of the pain of the announced uh, Lizzie McGuire and then uh, it went away. And the filming that started. They even started filming. So painful. Really is. Because <sighs> I love I love Hillary Duff. She I is. Know. She is such a delight on camera. <laughs> uh, and if you have a fairy tale romance, right? Because Lizzie McGuire, right? She had a little bit of fairy tale romance, mm -hmm. a little bit going on there, especially the movie, which I, I was a big fan of. Um, you've got the fairy tale wedding collection. Uh, <laughs> I like your note on here. It says, I didn't realize that Shop Disney was a place where you could purchase engagement and wedding rings. Well, there right. you go. Now right. it is. That's right. Yes, they do have their own section. Uh, I think they have six or eight ring styles that are available. And this stuff is priced between, uh, the rings are thousands of dollars, but the jewelry that they have is about 500 up to, I think, 20,000 and it's supposed to last a lifetime, though. So if you are, if you are trying to, uh, or if you're planning a Disney wedding, or like you can see in these uh, the earrings there in the necklace, there's even the little Mickey, uh, almost like the little hidden Mickeys. So if you're if you're a big fan of incorporating Disney into all of your styles, then there's a way to get Mickey in there. And this is something that's relatively new within mm -hmm. the realm of. Disney fandom because I can recall over the years it was it was challenging until I, maybe the last decade to um, you know pick up higher end Disney motif without um, having it special made. Uh, I can remember uh, friends getting married and wanting their engagement ring to um, be a piece that when it fit together it was a hidden Mickey. And it just wasn't it just wasn't really out there. She had to find a, a custom jeweler for it at the time. So, you know, it's it's neat the way uh, we the way that fandom has become a more popular uh, merchandise option um, just within higher end dealers as well. So, these are pretty. Yeah. 
Um, D23 is bringing us some exclusive Captain America pins. Mm -hmm. This is for, for gold members, but I figured we will quickly talk about this as well. It's a limited edition box set. There's 800, uh, 800 sets total, and there's nine pins. It's a hundred dollars and the different pins celebrate the 80 years of Captain America and their milestone shields, I believe is what they, what they said. So different, just different eras of the comics and uh, the different looks that Captain America has. So if you are a pin collector and a D23 gold member, you can purchase this on Shop Disney. Did you enjoy the first uh episode of uh falcon and winter soldier i did did you get um, a chance to watch it i i did I, I i did and i enjoyed it um now did you were you part of our team that discussed it earlier this week or is that coming up later this week I, my schedule's all messed up <laughs> um i was on the marvel monday so yes mac and i talked about it yesterday Okay. Okay. So that's something that you and Mac are, are doing here weekly on Mondays. I'm letting you pitch it a little bit. I'm trying yeah. to. Yeah. No, we'll just you. each, each week on Mondays, we will break down what happened in the most recent episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier and kind of throw about thoughts and ideas and maybe some theorizing whether or not Mephisto is going to show up. <laughs> gonna, right. That's the big thing. Right. But yeah. So if you want to do a deep dive or deeper dive into Falcon and the Winter Soldier, please come and join us. Very nice. And that's Mondays, you say? Mm-hmm. I believe awesome. it is 1.30 Pacific. Now on Thursdays, Mike C. and I typically share Star Wars headlines and uh, so I'm sure he'll talk about this a little bit more then, but I had to steal a little bit of the thunder because today we learned about the most adorable little toy. And I'm hoping this video will run so I can share them with you guys, but it's called Galactic Snackin' Grogu. Look at him, how cute. It is so cute. He comes with a little blue cookie to nom on, nom 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 nom, as well as a squid broth. His mouth is what activates his little motion and he makes all kinds of noises, like little baby cooing and stuff like that. And then like, and then, you know, pick me up. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, he's very, very cute. He's on, he's a pre-order item right now um, at various outlets, um, Hasbro Plus, Amazon, Walmart, various places. He retails for $79.99. And his ship date is oh, lots of stuff. His ship date is um, December 1st um, of this year. So this is one of those items that ordering it now will help enable uh, you to have it in time for uh, Christmas fun, right? Absolutely. So, yeah, um, he reminds me a lot when I was young, I really was jealous of this girl who had baby alive. <laughs> And, and when you would put the spoon on her mouth, her, her mouth would move and then she would eat and then it would go through her and then you could change a diaper. Yeah. I don't, th my friend had one and I got to borrow it for a couple days and I don't, it must, I don't know if it was a baby alive because I don't think I was changing diapers, but there was something where it would eat, like it would drink from the bottle and it would eat from the spoon and I, I really, really wanted one. My parents were like, well, no, you can play with hers. <laughs> <laughs> I, re I remember her name was Michelle oh. and, and she lived and she lived um, in another town and my dad would every so often my family would have to go there like for a business type trip kind of thing and it was like the highlight was I would get to watch and I was much I was like two or three years younger than Michelle so of course I couldn't play with it and so I could kind of watch her you know play with it and go oh someday I'll be grown up enough to have a baby alive dog. <laughs> So yeah, and then by the time I was, it was they weren't selling it anymore. So like, dec fast forward decades later, I'm now like 16, and it makes no sense for me to have one. But my parents felt so bad they went ahead and bought me a baby alive Aww. when I was like 16 years old. So I had a baby alive. So there you go. Well, that's fun. <laughs> one of those things. Hey, that might be better than having to do one of the school assignments where you carry around the five pound bag of flour. You're like, I'm just going to carry around baby alive. Well, my sister had baby feel so real. Do you remember that one? It was like Stretch Armstrong. 
So it had like this goo in it. So when you would squeeze it, no, it did not feel so real. Let me just <laughs> just say right now, but but that's what it was called. Baby feel so real. Okay. It had the weight of a baby, but not <laughs> not the actual physical attributes. It it, it did. <laughs> also from Hasbro, more Lucasfilm stuff. They're uh, doing with the like uh, Black Series 50th anniversary figures. And while it's in celebration of Lucasfilm, which tends to lead you to think of um, movies and things like that, this is actually um, based upon a lot of the extended universe um, comics. So uh, you have Darth Maul and um, this green rabbit guy whose name is Jackson. And the way the boxes are, you have the, the like the comic art or cover art and then you open it up and you have the character revealed inside and so they've announced these four figures and they're a uh, black series and we discussed them at length last week on star wars headlines um mike c bringing his star wars expertise uh to the discussion to let me uh, have a better idea as to who these people are and a little bit of their biography because yeah they're not terribly well known to me so did you know any of the did you know any of the stories or lore before your conversation with Mike? No, um, with Jackson, I was um, I was aware that there was an unusually green hu uh, humanoid type rabbit in the Star Wars galaxy. Um, but no, uh, I was not uh, that familiar with the, the characters overall. And it seems like m maybe Hasbro wasn't either because this character, no, this, oh, I don't have the yeah, box, but it's this character right here was the box is mislabeled. Mm -hmm. And so initially a lot of the announcements going out about which, uh, which character was for sale were incorrect because they were going based off the box and Hasbro had to issue a correction um, to the character. I think the character's name is Kier something. Kier yes. Kanos. Kier Kanos. And I think they were calling it uh, Carnor uh, Jax is what they yeah. had it labeled as. Yeah, so. and so that was a, a bit of an interesting uh, moment there as we uh, discovered the error of the uh, merchandising. So, yeah. It's good um, to know it happens to everybody, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, it was one of those things. And what was really cute was you could tell which we which websites were like the diehard Star Wars knowledgeable ones versus, you know, places like us that kind of deal with a lot of different things. And so we aren't necessarily going to catch something like that. So yeah, it was it was fun to uh, to watch that kind of initial announcement happen and then the various corrections along the way. But now here at Barely Necessities, it's time for the Sensational Seven. And this week, my focus is tiki mugs. I think maybe I have spring break on the brain. So um, <laughs> we're gonna start off with this amazing piece from um, the Mondo shop. It is the Cave of Wonders. And in case you've forgotten my Sensational Seven, I kind of loosely base it on the uh, dwarf. So in this case, Sleepy, I'm thinking dreams. I'm thinking how wonderful it would be to stumble upon a Cave of Wonders. And uh, this item is uh, holds 30 ounces and it retails for $55. There's the back, uh, there's the front and there's the back. And also I offered you some different color designs and that can be found over at Mondo Shop. In celebration of happy, I stumbled on these muglets. It's only two ounces, so they're tiny tiki's. And it's the Golden Girls. And who can't be happy when you see the Golden Girls? I agree. There's Rose and Blanche and Dorothy and Sophia. They're all there. And like I say, little two ounce um characters there the little tiki's then we have grumpy i thought you know scrooge he's a little bit on the ornery side here he is with his money bin it is a 24 ounce tiki they have the money bin on the back with the beasley bo beasley that doesn't sound right to me when i, I say know. it now oh that's gonna bug me later okay um yeah, yeah, trying to rob the the bank. I'm, I was hoping somebody in chat would come in and correct me on my on my name, but yeah, okay. Um, and next up for Dopey, I went with somebody small who also doesn't speak in his film. We have a Jawa Tiki. 
This I like is, those eyes. <laughs> yeah, $14, $14. This is once again found at um, Toink, T O Y N K dot com. That's where you'll find this item. There's the Jawa Tiki. We've got a Carbonite uh, Han Solo Tiki as a, I'm representing Sneezy because I think of sneezing as I come out of Carbonite. I don't know why. It's <laughs> what I do. So we've got 60 ounces. This one holds 60 ounces. That's an awful big tiki. I was thinking so that's this a, is like fishbowl Friday. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> and this is my favorite. I'm not going to lie. I picked it for Bashful because it is a hero who has chosen to. Thank you. It's Beagle Boys. Thank you, Kyle and Doobie. Um, I knew it wasn't Beastie Boys. That's like a forming <laughs> group. So the Rocketeer um this tiki and it is from mondo they have it in a, a variety of colors this is in the pen, patina color just really gorgeous um design and i'm always a fan anytime i can find something representing the rocketeer that's really and cute. finally my other one is right here let's see is it <gasps> ta-da that's where it is okay my last one did not happen. Let me see oh, if I can. It is a um, Admiral Akbar Tiki. And um, I found it over at target.com. So if you are in need of an Admiral Akbar Tiki, apparently the image I have is not going to appear for me here. So, oh, well, Aww. sorry about that. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Open so it. no worries. In the meantime, Becca. I, <laughs> I prepped my shopping list so early today and forgot to send it to you, but I did. <laughs> no worries. I, I did just send it to you if, if that's something we can retrieve. Otherwise, I'll just tell everybody what I got. <laughs> oh, why don't you do that? Okay. So this week I have for us uh, kitchen essentials that are new to Shop Disney. So there's some Corksicle uh, can uh, canteens with Mickey and Minnie and there's some castle spatulas and a new coffee mug with a, um, the, yeah, the coffee mug and a very, very cute little like coaster that comes with it. There's also some Starbucks Disney parks drinkware that's on shop Disney. So uh, if you want to take some coffee with you on your morning commute and need a little bit of magic, those are really, really cute. Uh, there are some Easter shirts and Disney parks jerseys that we have an article about. Uh, Sleeping Beauty Disney Castle Collection launches on Saturday, 27th at 7 a.m. Pacific on Shop Disney. I don't believe there's going to be any merch pass. So if you have been collecting those or want to start collecting, it's Sleeping Beauty this month. And I believe it's Series 6 of 9. And then we have more Falcon and the Winter Soldier merchandise from when the show came out on Friday, plus the Marvel must-haves. And there's lots to collect there. There's some new customizable D23 shirts, hoodies, and a water bottle. And I think all of those are open to everybody, but they do have the D23 branding. And then, of course, today, March Magic, once again, we're at 20% off games and puzzles. So that's over at Shop Disney. So there's lots and lots to check out. Oh, fantastic. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. So, as always, we appreciate your comments here at... Um, Barely Necessities, dude, I totally blanked on what we <laughs> Barely Necessities. If you enjoyed the show, please like. And if you uh, want to stay up on what's happening here at Laughing Place, don't forget to subscribe. We've always got lots going on. As Kidder points out tonight, we have the final episode of Tra Disney Trivia Live before a hiatus. Yep, just a brief break for Disney Trivia Live. And then tomorrow... Here at Laughing Place, we will have the Marvel Time live stream. That's where Mike, Mac, and Ben bring you up to date on the various Marvel storylines that are happening in the comic book world, along with some of the television, film, and merchandise news from Marvel. And we also have a uh, Disney news update on Wednesday night at 7.30 as well. And that's a uh, presentation crafted by the Burbanks and Mike Celestino. Um, on Thursday of this week, we're actually gonna be live from, oh, huh, that's funny, <laughs> Kyle comes in. Uh, there's not one tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Kyle, sorry about that. <laughs> Any Ooh, other time. <laughs> breaking news. Tonight's trivia will be Disney Cars and March Madness. So study up and you can uh, maybe do a 
uh, out uh, outscore others tonight in Disney Trivia Live. Um, also this week on Thursday, we are going to be live from Disney, uh, no, from Busch Gardens with Jeremiah. Jeremiah is going to be live from Busch Gardens. And we also will have um, LP TV talk. And that's where we have a roundtable discussion from several of our LP contributors talking about various related um, television programming. So on Mondays, we have movie talk where we bring out a, a round table to discuss a particular Disney feature. And on Thursdays now, we are talking about various Disney TV. So we've got lots going on here at Laughing Place. We please invite you to subscribe to the, to the stream. Um, and that way you can hear my husband sing songs from Titanic. I, I guarantee it's a good time when, when he does that. Is, <sighs> is he singing from the movie Titanic? Or there? I don't remember if there was an actual musical. There was. There was a musical Titanic. But no, it is It is my, my husband periodically. No, I shouldn't say periodically. I guess last week on um, Disney Trivia Live, he broke out into the, the amazingly forgettable uh, Celine Dion song, right? Oh yeah, I don't even remember what. Yeah, no, it wasn't like we ever. We, you barely ever heard it. What? It, nobody, nobody really, you know. <laughs> no, nobody far, knows. Let's yeah, see, no, no. Around the world. Yeah, no, no idea. And nobody ever goes to the front of the ship, to the bow, and stands out and spreads their arms and declares themselves king of the world. That never happens, <laughs> right? Never. <laughs> So, okay, well, we've, we've discussed lots of Disney merchandise. I'm sure we will have lots of Disney merchandise to discuss next week as well. Don't forget to follow us at Disney Merch Show or the team here at Laughing Place. They are constantly putting out new news and information. I'm sure there's been several tweets while we've just been sitting here talking about Disney merchandise. So check it out. Here's another news update. Kyle coming in with, nope, there's a news video tomorrow but there's not one next week. So see, this is why you have to subscribe because then you'll, you don't have to pay any attention to Kyle. It'll, you'll just get like, ding, a notification <laughs> and you'll know that something's there. So yeah. So thanks very, very much for tuning in. We will see you next time here at Barely, <laughs> Barely Necessities. Bye for now. Bye.